Fear of God Essentials have finally dropped some brand new items. Previously when they've done new drops, it's always just been pretty much the same products as the last season, but they've changed the colors slightly. But this season they actually released three new products and today we're gonna to take a look at them and see whether or not they're worth buying. I do think it's a bit of a weird time for them to drop a knitted hoodie for the summer season because it's getting pretty hot and this hoodie is extremely thick. But regardless, I think it's a really nice hoodie. So something I mentioned previously, the essential lines, they cut a lot of corners in their products. But for this one, they've actually included the cover on the neckline, which I think is really good. It just shows that they're taking the right steps into making their products a little bit better over time. And the hoodie is so thick that it's actually heavier than the t-shirt and the denim put together. But in general, I think this hoodie is really good. In terms of its style, I really like the bagginess of it. And I think it just goes really well with the Fear of God Essentials look and feel. You know, a lot of their stuff, they're relatively baggy, but then they're tight around the shoulders and the arms area. So I'd say overall, this is definitely a win. And at the price of 150 pounds, I think it's definitely worth the purchase. There aren't really anything out there that is similar to this on the market at the moment. I'd recommend this to anyone. I was really excited when they announced this t-shirt because for most, if not all of the t-shirts, they don't have a cover on the neckline. Over time, it just makes it uncomfortable to wear and it also makes the neck tag just curl up. And that just ends up scratching the back of your neck. The neck cover also helps with the wear and tear of the t-shirt as well. So imagine if you're putting on the t-shirt constantly, um, you know, this area is always gonna have a lot of pressure applied to it. So the neck cover just, protects the uh, hem from ripping. But once I receive this, I'm actually extremely disappointed with the product. So I'm not sure how well I'll be able to show this through the camera, but the t-shirt is extremely thin. I would compare the quality of this material to something you'll get from Primark. That's how cheap the material looks and feels when you're holding it. So now the t-shirt on, so I don't know how well you can see it, but it's relatively transparent. And because it's so thin, it kind of lacks that characteristics which makes a Fear of God Essentials product unique. You're getting all of the downside of the Fear of God Essentials t-shirts. You're not getting any of the positive side of it. And on top of that, this t-shirt costs 40 pounds. So given all that, I would say this is a absolutely terrible t-shirt. It's expensive, it's poor quality, there's no reason to buy this. So this denim jacket is a little bit weird because it's called the oversized denim jacket. As you can see, it's not very oversized at all. Um, if anything, I would say it should be called a cropped jacket. And part of the reason why I wore a cropped t-shirt underneath is because I just want to show how ridiculously short this jacket is. So this is a cropped t-shirt. Uh, if I extend my hands, it goes up to my wrists. Whereas this jacket is even shorter than that. For me, this is not a good look. Um, it kind of just looks like a girl's denim jacket. And usually you'd imagine, you know, things that are released in the same season, you should be able to wear them together, right? If I was to put on the knitted hoodie, and the denim jacket on at the same time, just looks like I'm wearing kids clothes on top of my hoodie. And this is where I'm really confused again with Fear of God Essentials because most of the products, it seems like they're designing for people who are relatively tall, but then ever so often they will just release some random products like this, which just doesn't fit in with the rest of the products. So it just makes it really hard for consumers to buy products from Fear of God Essentials. And now if I do the zip up as well, you can see how ridiculous this looks. So overall, Fear of God Essentials, I would say they are a C tier brand. They do have some good products, namely their joggers. They're all really good in my opinion. And also their knitted hoodie that I just mentioned earlier. And I definitely recommend to anyone if they haven't got anything similar to that. I think it's really good quality and also it looks pretty nice as well. But everything else, especially things for the top of your body, I just think they cut too many corners. And something that I mentioned before is a lot of these brands, they are just over packaging all of the products to give it that illusion of premium. So they're spending all of this money to make you think that the product is good but really they should just spend that money on making good products instead. Genuinely think they spend more money on the packaging 
of the t-shirt than the t-shirt itself that's how bad quality they are and i think that's what i really dislike about this t-shirt they spend way too much money on the branding and the packaging of the products as opposed to actually just delivering really good products instead. I would definitely recommend people to stay away from that t-shirt. And I would say, you know, free t-shirts that you get on the streets are better quality than this. So 100% avoid. The denim jacket is not actually that bad. I would say it's just the cut of the cropped is ridiculously short. And if you want to get that denim jacket, I recommend going maybe even two sizes up. You know, most Fear of God products, you want to go a size down, but with the denim jacket, you have to go size up. Otherwise, you're just going to look ridiculous. 